guys, Vinci Gamer, back and we're back to the Hatchet Field Trilogy. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, guys. Yes, I'm sure it is. I'm sure that's what it's called. Um, a series of Star Kid uh, musicals, guys. Very, very exciting. This is the next part, which is Black Friday. Pretty certain this is correct. I did go over the comments section, guys, and this seemed, seemed to be what people th said to next. Then there seems to be a toss-up between if it's Nightmare Times or Nerdy Prudes. Maybe, I'm not sure. So, um, as always, let me know exactly how you think it should be watched and everything, guys. But I'm pretty sure that we're correct with Black Friday. Thoroughly enjoyed the guy who didn't like musicals, which I kept on calling the man who was scared of musicals. <laughs> um, yes, that was amazing. It really, really was. It's so interesting to see, like, the much more modern ones, even though that was quite a few years ago now. Um, uh, like, you know, like... I don't, I don't know if the cast it seems to be a little bit more streamlined, maybe? Or maybe not, actually. That's probably not true. I'm probably thinking of because the early ones have a lot of set pieces where there's lots of characters around, whereas the more recent ones, they tend to be like a selection of characters, or obviously with the VHS one, it was like a, a much more of a musical thing, so it was usually two, three people on stage, apart from certain scenes. Um, but yeah, it'll be very interesting to see how this all plays out. Now, apparently, like I say, this is part of the Hatchetfield series. So I have just gone and brushed up on the names of the previous characters from, from, from the, from, from, uh, from the guy who did like musicals. Um, but I don't know if they're going to be in it or if it's just going to be another story set in Hatchetfield or maybe it's going to be in Clivesdale. You never know. But yes, I did go that go around and get all the names just in case they get referenced. Because obviously there was one moment in uh, the guy I did like musicals um, where someone is called a, a nerdy prude, and I thought, well, that that's gonna pay off later around, isn't it? Um, Alice, right? No, Alice, Grace, Grace. I see you, Grace. Don't know if it's great. If Grace is gonna be in this, but either way, guys, uh, if you're new here. I'm Reggie, and uh, we started this Star Kid um, uh, journey, <laughs> if I can say pretentiously, uh, because I checked out the Harry Potter movies on the channel for the first time, fell in love with those guys. We now do book reviews, in depth book reviews over on the Patreon, and also on YouTube. They're, they're, they're free to watch on YouTube as well. Um, and. Uh, I got recommended the Harry Potter musicals, which were a uh, very Potter musicals, which were an absolute blimmin' treat. Uh, there was definitely interest for us to continue on. We've uh, so we've done plenty of other ones now. We've done Wicked, Wicked. Is that what it's called? It's not. What it's, it's not what it's called, is it? Is it Wicked? Like the Jafar one. <laughs> the Jafar one. Uh, we've also uh, done Starship, but we just finished. So impressed by that. So, so impressed with that. But now we're back to the Hatchetfield series, guys. And so let's check this out. Very interesting to see how much of a crossover there's going to be. I can't imagine that Paul... I mean, it could be a continuation of Paul and Emma's story, but that seemed to end quite badly at the end of a spoiler. At the end of... Uh, very, um, a very guy scared who didn't like musicals. Okay, I'm having a breakdown. Um, it's not called Wicked. I'm gonna go look up what 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 it was called. Twisted. Thank goodness. There we go. Um, let's get over now to Black Friday, which I'm guessing is about a sale. Uh, I think we're gonna do this in three parts, if that's okay with you guys. So it'll be 45 minutes per episode. Let's get into it. Black Friday. Very intrigued to see what crossover there is with... Uh, I mean, like I say, it may just be another story in Hatchetfield. Let's find out. Five, four, three, two, one. And there should be subparts. There are. Eerie music. Good start. Good start. Very pretty logo. Very 80s. Very 80s. And obviously we have the Cinderella one coming up towards Christmas, guys, which we will do, but I'll, I'll, I'll make sure that you guys have watched it first before I, uh, be, before you watch my reaction, if you know what I mean. <laughs> wow, oh, nice beard. Here, boys and girls, hop aboard the SS Wiggle, we're setting sail for giggles. Come on, Sniggles! SS Wiggle? Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm making notes, by the way, guys. Oh, there's uh, the actor, actor at least. In fact, is this the exact same cast? I think it is. 
Jamie, as always, that voice. <laughs> Amazing. I've got beard envy from that guy. I love you. Not the camera work. Well, he's deep down in Drowsy Town, sleeping the dreamless sleep of the day. But how are we gonna wake him up, Uncle Wiley? Well, you'll just have to pick up your own Wiggly this Black Friday! I'm getting Cthulhu vibes already, guys. I'm not sure if that's on, on, on purpose. It is quite cute. Oh, oh no, that, was, that was Henry, wasn't it? Yes. This holiday season, now you got a reason for friends to come and play. There's the guy who played Paul, right? Uh, John. When Wiggly takes over your heart and your soul, the girl boy, the world will be a playground full of magic and sing a song. Well, I don't know what you, I mean, you guys, I don't know what I want for Christmas. When? Do the wiggle! <laughs> my notes are terrible already, guys. I need to up my game. Elves? This is a long advert, guys! They must have paid a lot for this! Oh my god, what the heck? <laughs> that is terrifying! You gotta eat it! Maybe it is edible. Okay. At Hatchetfield's Lakeside Mall, a sale so huge you'll lose your mind. That's like Alistair from. It really does have like Alistair. Pick up a KitchenAid air fryer for only fifty-four ninety-five. Crazy. A two-piece living room set for Millers for only five fifty-five eighty-eight. I just Millers dead. And fill this holiday season with giggles with a brand new Tickle Me Wiggly by Uncle Wiley Toys. Uncle only Wiley. Only forty-nine ninety-five at Toys Own. He's a wiggly sneak and a sneaky... Is it? Ugh. <laughs> how many times are they gonna play that ad? I don't know. Emma, you know how I feel what? Like that Sorry. musical commercial... The audience. I know, you don't I don't like, like it. Uh -huh. And I'll tell you why. Paul, I don't care. It's these advertising firms. The audience. Catchy jingles that worm their way into your brain, brewing up the hype till it boils over. It's things like Wiggly that make Black Friday the worst shopping day of the year. <laughs> Relax, it's just a toy. Cabbage Patch Kids were just toys, and there were riots over those things. Literally, riots. Were there? My goodness. Why? Oh, that's the were, yes. God, what even is a Cabbage Patch Kid? It's like you're cutting into a head of lettuce and, oh shit, a baby. It's like... <laughs> Basically, yeah. Not his toys, I guys. I wanted a salad, but <laughs> 80s, now I baby. have a child. Like, what it would be 80s. What's the appeal of Tamagotchis or Beanie Babies or Wiggly? It's just mania, Emma. Like a spell. Well, we're here so you can get off your soapbox and none of that talk around Tim, okay? He's not. Tim! He probably wants a Wiggly oh, no, no. more than anything. And Tim's new, right? We have said his son, Tom, will never invite us over again. Tom. Your brother in law's a bit of a Scrooge, isn't he? Yeah, well, the car crash was last Christmas, Paul. The guy lost his wife. I mean,. He is an asshole, but he's the guy Jane married, and he and Tim are the only family I have left. I barely know them. I'm done fucking things up. I just need <laughs> this to work, okay? It will. He invited you over. He wants you to be a part of his life. So cheer up. It's Christmas time in Hatchetfield. Isn't What's fun? the worst that could happen? <laughs> hey, everything's going to be okay. Okay? Got a nice okay. jumper. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello. No way. Who the fuck it? He certainly wasn't then. Was he? Oh, you're late. He wasn't. It's six thirty in the morning. Yeah, and I said six. But I guess you had to go to Starbucks. Uh huh. That is an outfit. 
Hey, Tim. Who would have funk, eh? We missed you at Thanksgiving yesterday, but I heard you and your dad did something pretty cool. Pizza Pete's. Oh, Pizza Pete's? That is cool. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Paul. Uh, I'm Emma's boyfriend. Well, we haven't put a label on it yet, so. <laughs> this is important. This can't have happened. <laughs> oh, God. I, uh, you know, Pete, Tom, Tim, um, we, uh, I used to go to Pizza Pete's when I was a kid. Uh, I used to love the ball pits, the bumper cars. Yeah, I don't really like getting hit by cars anymore. <laughs> Old fashioned. Oh, oh, right, oh yeah, God. Oh, no. I, okay, I feel bad now. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, that stuff's for little kids, you know. Uh, Pizza Pete's is all about the games, right? Yeah. Mom and I used to play Zombie House, but... Dad can't because he's not supposed to hold a gun. Ah. Not even a fake one. He gets flashbacks. What are you telling them? I do not get flashbacks. I remember bad things vividly. <laughs> it's lovely scene to them. Uh, Tom did two tours in Iraq. Oh, uh... thank you for your service. I didn't do it for you. <laughs> I could have played the damn zombie game, but I was over at the skee-ball machine trying to win tickets to help you get that RC car you want. I wanted to have fun. Ski ball is fun. Ski ball sucks. Well, Poor hey, ball. we're gonna have fun today. Huh? We brought DVDs, games, we got leftovers, everything you need for a belated turkey day. All right, you guys are gonna have a good time. Hopefully you only have to watch Tim for a few hours. Oh, uh, when you called, I thought that we... Oh, I see. This is not a family Thanksgiving thing. I am babysitting. Ah, Grace is out of town. I couldn't find another sitter. I wouldn't have texted you guys unless I had any other option. I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick so you can get the hell out of here. Wow. <laughs> what a lovely guy. <laughs> Bless her. Or Emma. Sorry okay. about looking away, guys. I'm now focused. I'm so, so sorry. So, so Dad, sorry. I thought we were all going to be here together. Well, I have to go somewhere important. Okay? Where? For your information, I need a new blade for my bandsaw. Yeah, that's real important. Hey, Tim. Tim. Wow. Yes. Hey, priorities, Tom. First the tools, then the kid. I didn't say that. Well, what are you going to do for his birthday? Leave him at home and take the drill press to Six Flags? I don't have a drill press. Six And even flags. if I did, how would it fit into the sedan? <laughs> I had to say something because I didn't want to ruin the surprise. Oh. Go into the mall. To get Tim's Christmas present, okay? Certain it's wiggly. All everybody's been talking about his little uh, monster that you tickled. Oh my God, Tom! You're getting Tim a tickle me wiggly? <laughs> yeah. He's gonna flip. You must have pre-ordered that thing like six months ago. Ah, Toy Zone doesn't do pre-orders. First come, first serve. So. That oh. sounds healthy. Do you have someone holding your place in line? What do you mean line? It's six thirty. I'm gonna get there ten minutes before the doors even open. Uh oh. Uh yeah, not with these sort I, of crazies. Shut in for a while, so you might not really grasp the demand for this doll. My buddy Bill tried to get one online. The orders are so backed up, the earliest he can get one is next Christmas. Not Hold this on, Bill. Christmas, next Christmas. Maybe. Brazil for Alice. Well, he should have been in line last night. He should have been in line last week. Are you guys pulling my chain? Tom, at this point, I, I wouldn't even bother going down there. God damn it. Jane would have had all this worked out. Get him like a Nintendo. Uh, he doesn't want that. He wants this doll. Is that too much to ask for? Last Christmas, this kid lost more than any kid deserves. Bless. He was doing this time last year. He was sledding with his mother. Now he's. This kid deserves to have one fucking thing that he asked for. So I'm not coming back into this house without one of those dolls in my hand. Because I will be goddamned if he does not have a merry fucking Christmas. He is a good actor, guys. And a happy new year! <laughs> he is a good actor. They're all great actors, guys. I don't even know what I'm saying, but it's weird to see this side, th this seriousness in the Star Kids. Brilliant, though. Is this an alternative universe? It must what be. What Tim wants, Tim will get. Anything that he wants, he can have it. So sorry about looking away from the screen, guys. It's something that I, I, I need to do, but it, it's, it's done now. It's a dream, the kind that makes you question reality. The fact you don't wake up is no accident, it seems. 
belongs to me. He wasn't. Someone's gotta pay for it. Dylan was not in the guy who did like musicals was. I swear he wasn't. Conquer trucks and ships that could show you the stars. Oh, bless. I couldn't hold him still to teach him guitar. For oh, no, he just wasn't having it. <laughs> you could hear the reaction when he came out, actually. I think there were people who were very surprised. And then flash, bang, Jane. Flash, oh. bang, nothing's the same. One Tim wants, Tim will get Anything that he wants, he can have it All I need is some time All I need is a break from the madness After all, you're my son I wonder if Tim, Tom or Jane were mentioned in The Guy Didn't Like Musicals I've no idea if they were, guys, if they were there's a God, my God, can you see what you've made? Oh, man. My God. And what I took away, I hit replay on that night. Over and over again, till it gives up the fire. Paul must be fierce by what's going there's on here, by the way. That was a joke. There's no ending inside, my God. Do I ever get that one flash? Bang! Son, flash, bang. What have I done? What my son wants, my son will get anything that he wants. He I got will have it. There's genuine I chills, fix. guys. If he wants that toy, by God, I will take it. Cause all I know, all I know. I like him, guys. I like, I like this, Tom. I'm scared you blame me for mom. I'm scared you blame me for your love. Oh my goodness. I can't but start no a musical like this, There's guys. no end to how much I love. You'll get what you want, oh. you'll get it back. I give up both of my arms to get you on track. Oh my goodness, All guys, you can't start with an emotional song Just like this. Give your dad a wink. Yes, all I need is to get you walking towards the paradise you dream. Cause I'm your dad, and you're my son. And our lives have just begun. Well said. What a lovely song, guys. That was absolutely beautiful. I like him. He's obviously struggling, isn't he? <laughs> Reminds me of the Father of Persona 4. That's the only, that's the only time I'm going to mention Persona 4 today, guys. Hey, <laughs> Miss, you think it's okay for me to park here? Uh, oh, we actually did yes, go? There's no parking at any time, but I'm sure the loading trucks could just park across the street. Does that work for you? Yeah, that's perfect. Lex. Lex. Hey, Mr. Houston. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm having a bud before my shift. Hey, does your mother know you smoke? Uh, yeah, she lets it slide because they score her weed. <laughs> weed? Lex, I thought you were done with all that. Last year you were back in school. You were on top of your classes. I was hardly valedictorian. No, you're doing all right in my class. Yeah, shop class where you get an A if you don't chop off your finger. No, oh, shop class. If you show up and you put in the effort, I'm not going to hold a little accident like that against you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, uh, shop class was the only thing holding up my GPA. So when they canceled shop class because a teacher had a family emergency, they flunked me. So oh. I decided to follow the example of my favorite teacher and never come back. How does it GPA. feel to be a role model? Lex, it's not a very fair thing to say. What's it matter? School's supposed to prepare you for the workplace, and I have a job. Or is stock girl a toy zone a waste of my endless potential? Toy zone. Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say. Now what, you have a problem with retail? No. Got edited. No, no, no. I, th I think Toy Zone's a great place for you to work. In fact, I'm proud of you. Yeah. Work. I always thought you had a great work ethic. Yeah, well, if I don't support my drinking habit, who will? <laughs> that's a great line. Yeah, that's funny. Listen, Lex, I'm actually here to get a <laughs> I thought it was funny. Son. It's a tickle me wiggly. Oh. I didn't realize so many people were trying to do the same thing. So do you, do you think, there's, uh, think there's anything you could do? Oh, uh. 
You mean like put one aside for you? Yeah. Yeah, like put your name on it, put it under the counter, just screw over hundreds of people that got here before you? That would be great. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, I could. But that would be violating company policy. Yeah, they pick up on the sock out of that. Everyone's to be more responsible lately, so I'm going to go with them on this one. Oh, but hey, I got an idea. You can get in line like everybody else. And I'd hurry up if I were you. The line's already backed up to Nordstrom. Uh, Nordstrom? No, 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 no. Oh, no, Nordstrom. Ah, Nordstrom. Shit. Wait, wait, are you going to leave your car there? Let him tow it! All right. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas, Lex. I'm not sure if I recognize Lex's actor. Don't get me wrong. Now, is this actually Bill? It might be. Let it be Bill. Frank! Right you are, good buddy. Uh, now, I just need your John Hancock here on the dotted line. I mean, signature. So that's them, huh? Yep. Our own little miracle on 34th Street. Tell me, Lex, do you know why they call it Black Friday? <laughs> uh, because it comes after Thursday? <laughs> ah, good answer. Q, they call it Black Friday because it's the day in America when most retailers go from being in the red, losing money, to being in the black, making money. That's obviously not true, is it? But well, friendo, I like I the theory. <laughs> these little babies are going to take you so far into the black, now you ain't never coming back. Uh, oh. <laughs> that does sound like a, a, a threat. Or an innuendo, I think, maybe. <laughs> oh, I sure hope so. Oh, you are gonna make a killing. <laughs> yeah. That is an Uncle Wiley Toys guarantee. <laughs> Uncle Wiley. Well, well. Hello, naughty list. Gross! Mm. Oh my goodness. Uh, excuse me, Alexandra, I don't mean to bother you or anything, but do you think I can see some hustle out of you on this, the most important shift of your life? On this, the holiest day in America for humble merchants across this fine nation. If it's a holy day, do I get time and a half? You know, you got a real attitude problem. <laughs> You're snippy to customers. You're no good boyfriends always around. You'd think a dropout with a record would be thankful to have a job. You want to end up like your mother? No oh. prospects and two kids she can't take care of? <clears throat> she dropped your sister on her head or whatever, but you, look at what a fine job she's done with you. Look, Frank, do you want me to unload these or what? That would be nice if our hot ticket item could be on the shelves when we open. Fine. Thank you. I wonder if Frank is Bill's brother or something, because they're quite uh, similar. <laughs> Alexandra, do you have well, Personality-wise, no. Something that polite young woman might respond with. Thank you. No, 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 no. Alexandra, I know this is hard for you, but try to keep up. I say thank you, so you should say... You're welcome. <gasps> yeah. See? She can be taught. <laughs> so condescending. <laughs> I kind of love it, though, at <laughs> the same time. I think because he reminds me a bit. Peace on earth and lots of money. Money, 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 just for me. We'll see who's laughing by the end of the day. Uh oh. What are you gonna we'll do? Who's laughing? Also, who's her boyfriend? Has it said yet? Hi, Wiggly. I'm definitely getting Cola Cthulhu vibes here, guys. So you're what all the fuss is about. Tickle my belly button. Cute. <laughs> that tickles. I think we're going to be very good friendly friends. That voice. I think so too, Wiggly. I think you're going to help me out a lot more than you know. Okay. I presume not for Tom. Call security. We got a shoplifter. Drop that doll. Jesus Christ, Ethan! You Ethan. Hey! Come on, it was just a goof. Uh, where's my sister? Oh no. Hannah? Hannah, there's so many names! You've been telling me every day for the past four weeks to pick up your kid's sister. Oh, I must have forgot because I'm so stupid. 
She's right over here. But I gotta warn you, she's being a little snot today. Hannah! It's just very oh, nice. Come here. Do I gotta put a leash on you like a dog or my cousin? Oh, so she. Hey, don't pull her. <laughs> I'm not. Okay. Hey, banana. Is today banana. a good day or a bad day? Bad day. Well, I don't know who told you that because today is a good day. You know my backpack, the ones with the pins on it? Well, today you get to wear it. I've Ooh. ordered two pins See recently, I mean? guys. It's it's last week. All day. Why don't you want to wear my backpack? That makes me sad. Do you think I have a bad backpack? I'm not supposed to. Who says you're not supposed to? Webby. Oh, great. Webby. Now we got to talk to the imaginary spider from outer space. Oh my goodness. What does Webby say? Bad blood. Cross. Black and white. Can you translate? I don't speak crazy. She's not what? crazy. She's creative. Come on, Hannah. I don't have all day for No. This. Okay, here. Let me try. Let me try. <clears throat> all right, banana split. See this hat? It was gifted to me by a great warrior. <laughs> so nice. Don't you fucking laugh. <laughs> it's imbued with the power of Grayskull. Grayskull? Dark magic, bad blood, backpacks. He man. Any fucking thing. Now I can lend you this hat just for today. And while it's on your head, well. Nothing can harm you. Psychology. Honest. Cross my heart. Hope to die. Well, that seemed to work. Bless her. I'd make a great dad, I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> Which is gonna black and white? Like something cross? Something? Fucking town. Is everything good with the buyer? Oh, yeah, about that. Uh, there's been a little complication. Shit. So originally we talked about five. Well, uh, word starts to get around, and before I know it, there is a bidding war for this thing. And uh, we got somebody willing to pay seven. <gasps> 700 for a doll? <laughs> no, 7,000. Wow. 7,000? Seven fucking thousand dollars? Well, I just Where's make more of them. Where's that? <laughs> Hannah, do you know what this means? California? California! Oh, really? My mom's a bitch! LA Rams? Oh, wow, okay! Melancholic! A melancholic! Me melancholic? It's time to flip the switch When the problem's chronic Not being hyperbolic But it's time to ghost Sun shines down There's a lot of names on this, guys. I'll know I'm righteous, babe, in this time of crisis, babe. And when the sun shines down over Cali, the future's priceless, babe. The past a virus, babe. Cause we're Cali for M.I.A. M.I.A. I wonder if Paul and Emphasop was just like a... If they're not going to be the stars of this movie? It beats being broke In this day and ages He looks like he's at a buff in a bad mice light, which I am wearing a hoodie off today. It's not a trope I'll be an actress Cause I've had practice Selling hope That's not how cameras work, baby. When the sun shines so. down upon us, we'll know we're righteous, babe. We survive the crisis, babe. And when the sun shines down over Cali, oh my goodness, that is rocking out in the background there. Cause love will drive us over Cali. Bless. And it looks like Hannah's happy to go as well. Subtraction, we're Cali for M.I.A. Dear Mom. Uh-oh. It's been real. Real bad. Very good. I'd say you did your best, but I'm not a liar. Oh, I swear no, I haven't seen that in, in any other musical. We get it, Ethan. You're a good speller. I'm 
I'm taking Hannah as far away as we can get. I'd give you an address, but I don't want to. <laughs> don't write, don't call, don't ask. Sincerely, Lex. P.S. Get yourself a new trailer, because this one is broke as shit. Because <laughs> we're cabby boys. you got to be sus about someone who's willing to pay seven grand for a thing, though. <laughs> Heather's new as well, isn't she? Because this guy was, uh... Hidgens, wasn't he? I think the entire thing's set in the 90s now, I think. Because <laughs> everyone's kind of dressed 90s. <laughs> oh, good, she's rocking up. Yeah, where did you learn that from? <laughs> that better be fucking floss. It's <laughs> amazing. Let's go. I need a cigarette. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, are we following? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm intrigued to see who who the focus of the story is going to be. Or maybe it's just like loads of different people. Gerald. No, you know full well why you're not allowed inside. Because you're not to step within a thousand feet of a Cinnabon, Gerald. No, I don't Cinnamon. believe you just want to smell them. <laughs> oh, my oh God. the line. Look at this line. No, Gerald, keep the car running. I don't want to come out there in ten minutes to a cold car. It's like Quilla Deville. Excuse me, sir. What do scissors do? Cut, huh? <laughs> Hello there. Linda Monroe, president of the Hatchetfield Boating Society. Oh, this is a boat society? Dr. Monroe of Inner Beauty Rhinoplasty. I was wondering if you could just step on back and I could slide in front of you. No, I've been waiting here all night. And your time is precious, I'm sure. Which is why I'm willing to compensate you. Look, uh, Seven grand? Ma'am, I can't just let you cut in front. Oh. Thank you, Mrs. Monroe. Merry Christmas to you. Thanks. <laughs> Excuse me. No, Gerald, you cannot run across the street. No, I don't care if River has to use the bathroom. He can hold it like a man. Oh. Excuse me. What? Oh, my God. Gerald, hold on. Becky Barnes is accosting me. Yes, Becky. call the police. <laughs> you can't do that, Linda. You can't just cut the line. Oh, oh, no. I did not cut. I bought this spot fair and square. It's all right, lady. I let her in. Because she paid <laughs> you. I saw it. That's called a bribe, sir, and it's illegal. Or it should be. Yeah, I still saw it. Did you ever think about all the people behind you? The hard-working families of Hatchetfield who are counting on a wiggly for the holidays. What if one of your neighbors, who's been in line for hours, doesn't get a doll because of a bribe you took knowing it was wrong? Oh, come on, lady. It's, it's one person that's one How much was it? Oh, oh, no, no. One. No, I need four. Mm. I have four boys. Four beautiful blonde boys. <laughs> They're not going to share Juan like some junky children with a needle. <laughs> Linda, do you really think your children are better than everyone else's? I think she does. So many words, yes! <laughs> yeah. Oh, Who is shut he? up. I hope you don't get a wiggly. I hope you fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What are you doing here, anyway? You don't even have children, thank God. For your information, I'm here for the patients of St. Damien's Pediatrics Wing. Oh. Kids who are going to be spending this Christmas in a hospital bed. Ew. <laughs> There's it's a, a little girl there, Bridget. She lost her eyesight Bridget. in an accident, a horrible accident. Well, my children were accidents. You, you don't... Oh, my God! You don't see me pushing my problems onto everybody else. You know what? If I were you, sir, I'd say, I don't need your money, Linda Monroe, and I'd tear that check right in half. We'd all cheer. Come on, everyone. Tear that check. Stop. Tear that <laughs> check. Oh, God. Yeah, if he doesn't want it, I'll take the check. You can come in. No, 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 no. It's my check. <laughs> See, Becky Barnes, this is Hatchetfield. Not that rah-rah school spirit cheerleader bullshit that you never grew out of. <laughs> That's why you stayed with Stanley, that Stanley. monster husband of yours. Well, right up until the moment he got bored and ran off. 
Well, did you think your neighbors didn't notice you were wearing sunglasses on cloudy days? Turtlenecks in the summer? Well, they knew what was happening. They just didn't care. Wow. And that's why you disgust me. Well, not because you're so naive. Because you're so weak. Gordon Stop Bennett, crying, guys. Gerald. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> that was dark, though. Hey, Gary, excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, sorry. Excuse oh, me. oh Tom. Miss, hey. miss, do you think I could get your spot in line? I got like 20 bucks. It's really important. It's for my kid. <laughs> Becky Barnes. Oh? <laughs> oh, my God. It's Becky Barnes. Oh, my God. It's <laughs> Jay. It looks amazing. Who's this guy? I think they dated in high school. Yup, she was cheering him from the sidelines. Do they even recognize? I don't know. Thomas Becky's put, put on some weight. She looks amazing. She embedded in Afghanistan. Oh my god. She embedded the inmate. What? What's a rack? She say oh, but. To him. Hi, Tom. <laughs> hey, Tom Houston. I know who you are, Becky. I mean, I'm Becky. Becky Houston. Oh, you're oh, Becky I mean. Barnes. <laughs> I'm good. I heard Tom is seeing things. Holy ghost. It's this? called PTSD. Oh, forget about it. Has she PT seen her hubby? He ran off. She's not as hot as she used to be. But that wow. is coming It was so back. lovely here. Yeah. Those years they had fun. But they're both on the sales rack. They are spent. They are cooked. They are done. Wait, somebody's on his mind. Will he opine? Oh my god. It's way too painful for Tom. Amazing. Or maybe for Beck. <laughs> she is amazing, guys. Is this still the queue? <laughs> when there's no more buffer. Or is just everyone else is just going in the shop now? What do you say? It's cold out. Oh, nothing really. Our thing. Haven't seen it. Uh, <laughs> haven't seen it. Oh my god, it's a train wreck. My favorite. Keeping my tub off popcorn. Just skip to the fucking. She never. <laughs> it's amazing. Jeff is. I think I'll step in and save her. Oh, you don't have half of a chance, bitch. <laughs> and I think he took a shower. Oh my god, someone flipped the switch. There, she looked at his crotch. <laughs> oh my god. Walking a very fine line. Oops, I think we've been caught. Is she looking at mine? What she do looking you say when you love each other? What do you say? Okay, we're still in the right. Well, we're definitely not in the right order. In fact, Linda's right in the back. What do you say? What do you say? I love their expressions to this song. You look great. Oh, thanks. So do you. Thanks. So, are you shopping for your kid? Ah, uh, no, I'm shopping for myself. I like dolls. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? Just kidding. I don't. I don't like dolls. At least not like that. Oh my god! <laughs> I missed you. Oh, oh, oh my god, Chef! Bless. Say? Okay. Well, this is. This could be. End well. Hopefully. <laughs> No, nothing. I actually, I um. <laughs> Who is uh, this guy? <laughs> that was amazing. Well, brilliant. All right, people. The doors are now opening. Ah. The doors. They're opening the doors. They're opening the doors. That was Lex as well. Door. Please enter the store in an orderly fashion. Those here to pick up a Tickle Me Wiggly. You can get those at the checkout counter, but remember, they are first come, first serve, so stay in line. <laughs> They've changed like several times, dude. But <laughs> well, they still do. <laughs> oh my god, it was Frank. It's a world renowned, the palace for all of your underthrown. It's a pageant for the gallant. Oh my goodness, careful, dude. Assessing prices, cause you got vices that come in a variety of sizes. I'm getting uh um, Frankenfurter vibes here, guys. <laughs> 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 
She's just a sweet shop owner. Stay in line, guys! I wonder if this is our main villain, you guys. Maybe. I kind of love this song. I must admit, guys. Better do up. Could have shopped any day, but you chose today. It's no wonder. Here's your number. Know your place in line. I'll pay to move up. I never skim off the top. It's awesome. Lucky Jamie. That we're not liable for anyone who dies. Oh no! Don't say that. She's smoky at the till. The fact that they're not staying in line is actually giving me anxiety. <laughs> it is so, um, it's cool. It really is. Rock Horror Picture Show, there we go. So I'll make my Frank of fur. Give us your fucking money. Give us your fucking cash. Give us your fucking money. It's where it's at. Oh, I, I, I. Oh, my God. Oh, this is better. You spend money. Your kids will love you, maybe. They're slashing prices. It's insanity. Do we have any morality when the door's I think Fr Frank must be our villain. He has to be. Maybe? Thank you very much for your generosity. Your donations are gladly accepted. Good morning! Yeah! I love the fact that, that, that Tom has just gotten away with Skippy Line completely. That was absolutely brilliant, guys. They, all the songs have been fantastic oh, so far. Look, a valued customer. Good morning, sir. Can I get you a Tickly Wiggly? Yes. In fact, I would like all of them. Wait, what? What did that guy just say? Excuse me, sir, did my ears deceive me or did you say you want to buy all of them? Yes. As in the entire stock of 850 Wigglies at $49.95 each, that's... $44,999, including sales tax. Would you like them gift wrapped? No! Short work day. No, 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 he can't buy all the dolls. Some of us have been waiting in line forever. What does he want them for? Hey, what's going on up there? Well, I think somebody's trying to buy all the dolls. I better get one. Sorry, lady. First come, first serve. <laughs> all sales are final. Could I interest you in a gummy bug maker? Oh, gummy bug you maker? You should be ashamed of yourself, you disgusting little pervert. Wow. What's a grown man going to do with 850 dolls? Well, one will stay in the box for posterity. Of course. One will be used exclusively for bath time. This is unbelievable. Oh my god. Okay, I think hey, she's right, lady, actually. If you're gonna make with the hysterics, take it to Macy! How dare you? Are you hearing this, Gerald? Yes, call my attorney! It's a long phone call. I will tickle one doll, and one doll will tickle me. Her eyes, Listen, guys. I've been waiting here all night, and I am not leaving here without a wiggly. And I'm in a hurry. Oh, hello. Hi, Gary Goldstein, attorney of law. I was a little further back Gary. in line. Gary. Gary, thank God. Are you aware that my client, Linda Monroe, suffers from a rare, little understood anxiety disorder? And any lasting medical conditions which may arise from stress caused on these premises are your liability, sir? I hope you have your finances in order. Get ready for audits. Audits up your ears. Audits you said something about not being able to be killed, Audits though. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to try and be fair. We're going to put a limit on how many Wigglies each customer can purchase. One per person. You happy now? Yes. Yeah. Linda's not happy, no. <laughs> all the arbitrary numbers. Why Juan? 
It's one. A nice even number that we can all agree upon. Like four, yeah. Like four. Oh. Oh. Well, you can buy less if you want. Yeah, I thought all sales were final. Look, you're not getting all the wigglies, you sicko. Well, now you'll be hearing from my attorney. I gotta go start oh, Yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> Amazing. Sherman Young is being discriminated against. Sherman again. Young. Oh, Gary. Ooh, right in the subpoena. <laughs> Very good. All right, forget this line. I'll give you $500 cash money for one wiggly. Sherman. Now there's an idea. Would you like it gift wrapped? Bidding. I'll give you 700. No, everyone. Here we go. Up. Oh. Get your hands off her. Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. Show me the money, people. Show me the money. It's gonna be a bloodbath, guys. Three dollars. Can I use these coupons? This ain't right. I lost my job when the plant closed. I can't afford three five hundred dollars for a doll. A Wiggly is forty nine ninety five. Sorry, pal. The price just went up. Supply and demand is a wonderful thing. Whoever pays the most for a Wiggly gets a Wiggly. Well, if you're not gonna sell me that doll, uh oh. Then I guess I'm just gonna have to take it. Oh, 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 this is escalating. Oh, hands off the merchandise, pal. That guy's got a Wiggly. He's got a Wiggly. Oh, Hands off the merchandise, literally. Give me that talk. Yeah, Don't this is gonna get violent. <laughs> I'm guessing the queue is now just non existent. <laughs> I'm s I swear I've never seen this guy before either. It's certainly mine. It belongs Out of there. to my boy. It's mine. It's ah. mine. It's certainly mine. It's my little toy. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine. It's oh mine. no. It's certainly mine. It's mine. It's, it's my little boy. I don't want Sherman to have it, guys. Boyfriend, oh no. It's mine. It's mine. It's certainly mine. It's my fucking body to spend. The choreography is excellent, guys! Look at this! I can't be doing it with Sherman Young. Take what you want, return what you get. Oh, oh yes, it is turning violent. You're gonna rip Frank and Pete to pieces. You have a dead couple there. Just die. Just die. die. It's time to die. You made my Christmas list. I got it. I got no! it. No! I got it. Literally. It's mine. The family will love me. Love the sympathizers. Squeeze, squeeze. It's belly so squeeze. No, we don't want them to have either. You never should settle for a lifetime that is crazy. <laughs> Oh, Frank's got one as well. Take what you want, return what you get. Oh! They're gonna rip you to pieces, dude! What is this? Oh, I'm What's he gonna do? The last thing on my Christmas list. You're at my toy store! Toy into the plastic. Yeah! Oh, even Lex is in there as well. She's got one already, aren't she? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa. Oh, I thought he was actually gonna die then. For a lifetime. For a lifetime. For a lifetime. Oh no! Okay! That was absolutely freaking cool, guys. That's 45 minutes. That's, that's, that's actually perfect. That was. I, I loved that ending. That was so, so cool. My goodness, this felt like no other Star Kid that I watched before. I, I, I'm loving the storyline. And I said, I'm not saying that, that I did that, that I haven't loved the previous ones, but you know, it has like like the characters were like really fleshed out with like history and um and everything. Absolutely amazing. I've got to say, there are a lot of names. I'm pretty sure I've got them all down, guys, but it's basically filled an entire page here. Thing is, some of them are going to be irrelevant. So, Sherman Young, who was JB just now, I'm hoping we never see them again. I get the thing we might do. Maybe not in this musical. What? No, yeah, I, 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 I'm. Yeah, <laughs> I've, got nothing, I've got nothing else to say about, about that person. 
Then we got the lawyer. Ugh. Obviously, Linda, Becky. I wonder if there's a chance that we will only see Emma and Paul again at the end. So that was like a really nice way of introducing the story via characters that we already know. But it's impossible. It, unless everything got resolved and everyone was, was cured and everything, Paul and Emma can't have been in a relationship. So I don't know what this is. If it's some sort of timeline thing going on or something, that is absolutely intriguing. I mean, you heard the reaction of the audience. I think that w w when the lights came up and it was those two, I think like some people were like, oh, interesting. But then as soon as they said each other's names, the audience were like, oh. <laughs> like I was, I was actually shocked. Then Dylan came out, which was wonderful. Loved his song so much. God bless him. And the thing is, it was so it was actually really clever because it introduced the it introduced him in a very unpleasant, unwelcoming way, but then expla explained why he's like that. And I found that really powerful. Um Like I say, Persona 4 guys, um basically on Persona 4, you, you you're like a student who goes to stay with your uncle who you've never who you haven't met since you were a baby. Uh and he's got like a, a young daughter. And and his life is kind of He's doing the best, but he's struggling. And that's definitely what I got the impression from uh, Tom there. Tim's amazing. I'm pretty sure I recognise Tim. But there are definitely actors here that I'm not recognising. Lex, I don't think I've seen before. Hannah, I don't think I've seen before. Becky, I feel like I have, but I just cannot put my finger on who it was. I don't think it's Mariah, is it? Because that, that, that Mariah played um, played Alice. I'm not sure. And then the guy with the black and white hat, which was actually really cool. Again, very 90s. I feel like these are all set in the 90s. In fact, I probably should have picked that up last time. But yeah, Frank is definitely a very different character than Bill. I think it's just the glasses that I was thinking of. He did have... Bill did have glasses, didn't he? I think he did. Maybe he didn't. I actually can't remember. But Frank, I, I, I'm actually surprised he survived that, that, that scene. I was saying I reckon he's going to be the villain, but I don't think he is. I reckon it's very suspicious that someone's going to be paying seven grand for one of these things. Linda, I don't think he's going to be our main villain. But there were hints of, like, I can't remember what it was, but Frank said something about um, you can't sue us if you die or something like that. You know that a body count's going to start coming, guys. Maybe, maybe not. But the thing is, I, I, I'm completely invested in the storyline as it is. I presume because of the way that, um, that, that you know, the, the, the um, Pulp Fiction style light coming on when the box was open and all the green light w was there. That there may be something sinister about these dolls. I know, I know it's a wild idea, guys, but I do feel like that might be the case. But right now, I'm just really invested in the storyline as it is. I gotta admit, that Q bit, maybe it's because I'm British. Maybe it's because I'm British, but we, we take queuing quite seriously over here, guys. And so when they were all dancing around, I was like saying, yeah, but you, you, he wasn't there. I, I, think, I think at one point, um, uh, the guy who plays uh, Higgins, um, Roberts, not I, I'm, I'm just looking over there just to check check that I'm still recording, guys. I don't have a list of all the of the all the actors' names because I don't need them because I've learned them all. But uh, Roberts w did sh like jump up several spaces, and that really bothered me. Again, I think it's just because I'm British, guys. It's, it's like it gave me a little bit of stress, you know. But the first song, not not the first song, guys. But but um, Dylan's song was freaking beautiful, and it genuinely brought a tear to my eye. That early on was crazy to me. There is that Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, which is basically... It's not Large Action Hero. What the heck is it called? Where he... Jingle All The Way, is that what it's called? I ain't seen it. I ain't seen it all the way through. I've seen scenes of it. Um, so you get the impression that this might be... A parody on that. I can't think of anything else which has a similar... 
Christmas gift storyline. Although, didn't one of the Halloween movies have something about a mask or something? Which I haven't seen. I only seen the first Halloween. Yes, I've only seen the first Halloween. Yes. Which is excellent. It confused me when they said Turkey Day, because I, um, I was thinking, well, hang on, that's Thanksgiving. But I guess in America, Thanksgiving and Christmas is kind of like a part of the same... Se oh, obviously season, but like say, same, like... They're, 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 they're linked in a way, I presume, maybe. So that means that this is still November. Which makes sense if the toys are going on uh, on sale now. But his toy company's not making enough versions of things, guys. It's so stressful. I remember when I got, um, when I pre-ordered a PlayStation 4. Um, and the guy on the phone. Um, so, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I pre-ordered it from, from a particular store. And the day before, the guy phoned me up saying, oh, by the way, we've got your uh, PS4 in. Uh, it's first come, first served. Despite the fact that I had, uh, that I'd reserved one and put a deposit down on it. And I, I'm always very, very polite to customer, customer service guys because I've worked in retail. Um, I liked what Lex said, what's wrong with re retail. There is nothing wrong with retail, guys. Um, and, and, yeah. I, I, and I wasn't rude, but I, I feel like I was stressed the way that I spoke to him. And he very, very kindly, in the end, did say, okay, I will put this aside for you and everything. I put a deposit down on guys. I'm saying it, everyone else said. But the thing is, we hadn't been told that it was a first come. So basically, the, the, the day before, you're basically told that the toy, the, the toy, the, the, the thing is there. And you, though you had to go first thing. And, and obviously, that means uh, having a day off work or taking a few hours off work and everything. Yeah, that was stressful. That was not a good system. But, you know, you get the feeling that they almost try to do it. So, so it makes like this frenzy about everyone having to get them just so it sells even more maybe but it ain't good guys because you see these, these footage of black friday in fact of like people like pouring into shops and throwing each other the way i will say this it is very suspicious that that is usually a very, very thin corridor of, pe of people doing that i do feel like it's made up to look worse than it actually is but yeah the thing is guys is that black friday sale i swear to god nothing's actually cheaper it's just different things with different prices. Anyway, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Back to back to this. Sorry. I am so so sorry about keeping up uh, uh, at the start. I kept on on looking to the side, guys. I I, I had to uh, deal with something, but I was listening and pay and try to pay attention. I hope it didn't ruin the video too much. I will put a pinned comment at the top of this video saying sorry about that because I yeah, that's not good. You, uh, that's not you. You clicked on this video to watch me react to something, not to be looking off off camera. I'm so so sorry. That was very bad of me. Um, Dylan definitely wasn't in, um, the guy who didn't like musicals. I said that was really cool. And you could hear the, the audience reaction because he wasn't in the intro song, I don't think either. I said that was like a general, oh, Dylan's here. That was really cool. And he is, he is great guys. I feel if I had to list my favorite cast members and I've asked you to do it before guys, I feel, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pick a top one. But I would say that Dylan and Jamie are definitely up there for me. I really like them both. Um, Jeff is wild. And you can tell that it, you know, everything that he did, you can hear people in the audience like particularly like because like, he was absolutely wild in this. He would be really good if they did a biopic of, uh, um, what's his name? Oh, Gordon Bennett. My brain's gone completely blank. Jack Nicholas. Because he has a Jack, he has J Jack Nicholas's smile, you know that that evil, that that devil smile, you know, not evil, sorry, that devil smile. That is insane by how many names I've got down here, guys. Because the thing is, I'd already jotted the names of the previous uh, ones down, and so we did hear about um, who was it that we heard about? We heard we heard about Bill. I thought we heard about Ted, but we actually hadn't. Nothing about uh, Professor. Pigeons, interestingly. I wonder if he's going to be in this. Because I guess you could say that Paul and Emma didn't die, per se? I don't know. I just feel like this is an alternate, alternate universe. Which, if, if that's how it is, I love that, guys. I mean, that, that is such a cool idea. 
But I am listening up for those other names, though. And we did. We heard about Grace briefly as well. In fact, who was Grace? I, I'll have to go back and, and listen to that. But we definitely heard um, heard Grace's name being mentioned, which is interesting. Again, I presume that that, that she's going to be in um, in the next one. But like so many names. Yes. Yeah, so, sorry. I, I will go back now and and find out uh, wh when and why Grace's name was mentioned. But I was jotting down so many names. Jane died uh, in a car accident. The thing is, I because I know this is a series, I, I, I have no idea if Hatchet Fields actually ended. Or if it's still ongoing. Because I'm pretty sure that when I started to do these reactions to a very pop musical and everything, Hatchet Field was, one of them was still... Like current, I think it's nerdy prisoners must, must die. In fact, um, and so I'm hoping it's still going, guys, and, and and we can actually get caught up. Frank was amazing. What a performance! I really like him as well. That actor who is uh, Corey. Um, but I think you know what I, I think it's because I really liked Bill as a character. <laughs> God. But he was great in this, and he definitely gave me um, Frank Frankenfurter. Frank, is that Frankenfurter? Is that yes? Yeah, um, Tim Curry in a rock, rock and roll picture show. He that that song definitely gave me that vibes, and I, I think it's a disgrace, guys, because I loved Dylan's song at the start. Uh, Lex and um, don't look your notes, Veggie. Lex and Ethan and Hannah's song. There we go. Excellent. Uh, was awesome. Like, very, again, very 90s. I, I just feel like this entire series is set in the 90s. Um, and we know that... Did she give her back... Well, that's Hannah there, isn't it? Yeah, uh, so Hannah has the backpack which has the doll in, I presume. Interesting. But yeah, who is it that's willing to pay seven grand, though? I know. I am fully invested in this, guys. Don't like Linda. Don't like Sherman Young. Don't. I, I don't mind Gold. Uh, Gary Goldstein. He was just being honest, wasn't he? he did, that, that's his job, I guess you could say. We heard about St. Damien's um, by Becky. The Grey Skull Cap. Nice uh, He Man reference. Jeez. Stanley, who is a piece of crap. I don't know if we ever meet him, but I kind of feel like we. I hope we don't. It sounded like he was beating her, right? I, I'm guessing that that's what it meant by the glasses. And, and yeah, of course it is. Reggie. If I'm wrong there, guys, I'm so, so sorry. But I believe that was the case. I wonder if we'll ever see Gerald. <laughs> God. That was a long phone call, quite frankly. Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, so sorry about my eyes being uh, averted a bit near the start. Uh, I will endeavour to never do that again. Because that is not why you clicked on the video. But this, I am fully invested. And like I say, right now... I'm not against there being a supernatural aspect to it. I'm expecting there may be one, but honestly, it doesn't need it because I'm already invested in Tom and Becky. Uh, they, they, I feel like they are probably going to be our protagonists, which is such a cool thing. That's why it's really cool. You start off with Paul and Emma and then you think, oh, it's going to be their story again, but now they're just babysitting Tom. Whilst, no, Tim. Tiny Tim. That's an easy way to remember. Uh, whilst Tom cues with Becky, Linda, um, Sherman, and that's it character name-wise. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, guys. There are a lot of names to learn here, but I am thoroughly enjoying this. I'm very, very invested. Will these three get to California? Who is it that's willing to pay seven grand for one of these things? Oh, guys, seriously, I am sus. And what is it with them? Like I say, the only reason why I'm thinking Cthulhu, guys, is because it looks like a um, a squid. And I've never played or read any Call of Cthulhu stuff. Um, in fact, what's the what's the guy who who, uh, who wrote that? I can't I I can't figure the the guy who wrote the um, the whole thing with Cthulhu and everything. But I know very little about it. But you know that sort of character does show up in things, obviously. And so that's the vibe that I'm getting from Wiggly. But what is going to be the sinister side of it? That tickling the belly.
And also, when did this come out? Was it actually a Christmas release? Maybe? Nope, it came out in March. Right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I am super invested. Thank you so much for watching. I promise I will not be uh, distracted in the future. That was a disgrace. But until next time, guys, I'm worried because everything's about to go wrong. <laughs> I mean, I thought everything was going to go wrong in the queue. I thought, I genuinely thought Frank was going to die in that scene. Big Jack, subscribe, all that good stuff. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. I'm an adventure gamer, and I'll see you next time. I'm having, I'm having a breakdown.